Hello, good afternoon. My name is Lena Rogoyen. I'm the Senior Digital Health Analyst at Startup Nation Central. Thank you, people and computers, for inviting me. Very excited to be here. In a nutshell, Startup Nation Central is an independent NGO which builds bridges to Israeli innovation. We connect businesses, governments, and NGOs leaders across the world to Israeli innovation. How we do it? The basis for all our activity is our online information platform called Startup Nation Finder. Here you can find um, more than 7,000 innovative companies, all Israeli investors and foreign investors with Israeli presence, uh, all innovation hubs, uh, academic projects, and many more. It's online, it's free of charge, and I encourage you to uh, use this to discover Israeli innovation. So digital health is one of the most exciting part of this ecosystem. This is also the largest sector in the ecosystem of 700 digital health companies. It's very diversified. We divide it into seven uh, subsectors, but there is a clear big three of this um, sector. These are decision support, diagnostics, and remote monitoring. They historically account for more than 80% of total sector funding, and they have several features in common. First of all, these companies use cutting edge technology. Most of them utilize AI or machine learning uh, or natural language processing, AR, VR, you name it. Next, 70% of these companies are B2B, as the rest of the ecosystem, Israel is a B2B nation. But these companies, despite they have a business as an end client, they are becoming more and more patient-centric. And next thing they have in common during the corona pandemic, they proved that their corona-related solutions are part of longer-term strategic solutions aimed to transform global healthcare industry. So this year, 2021, is going to become a record year for this sector. In the first four months of 2021, uh, Israeli digital health companies attracted more than $700 million, uh, which is just slightly lower than full year 2020 and 2019 uh, numbers. Uh, and uh, as of uh, today, the numbers are even higher than for, uh, for the full year 20, uh, 2020. Uh, and of course, this all happening on the background of um, global, uh, global growth trends. First of all, remote care, telemedicine, telehealth, point of care, boom, that continues and still accounts for uh, about a half of total global investments in digital health. Second, focus on patient centricity. The largest, largest deals, mega deals in uh, global digital health are in patient-centric um, patient domain. Uh, and uh, IPOs and SPACs with very high valuations became a benchmark for high valuations for funding rounds globally. And uh, as a result, uh, in Israel as well. Uh, the funding, the growth of funding in the sector is still led by same by the same big three of subsectors: diagnostic, decision support, and remote monitoring. What happened uh, is a big shift in site-specific subsectors between corona-related solutions and non-corona-related solutions, and they'll, um, I will illustrate it in a second. Uh, before we get to specific examples. Um, uh, I want to show you these two graphs. Um, the sector is definitely becoming more mature. Uh, we see both in median funding rounds in various subsectors and in median funding rounds uh, in various stages. Uh, and they're on the rise across the board in later stage and in early stage and in, in most of subsectors. Just um, to give you some um, uh, this, uh, the examples to quantify that, uh, in the fir first four months of 2021, 17 out of 31 rounds were later stage. Later stage, we mean B plus, uh, versus just 21 out of 106 for the full year 2020. And the median funding round for the sector overall increased to, increased to $14 million from six 
million in 2020. So this table, with the largest um, funding rounds, illustrates uh, what I just uh, uh, mentioned. Uh, so we can see, uh, first of all, we can see uh, two first mega rounds in Israeli digital health industry. First is um, uh, AI-driven personal health assistant, K-Health, which raised $132 million in the beginning of the year. And the genomics company called C2I Genomics, which um, develops liquid biopsy for uh, cancer tumor monitoring. This company raised $100 million uh, in uh, round B. Uh, out of this list, only two companies, K Health and Taito, um, uh, Corona related and uh, Corona pandemic uh, helped them a lot in terms of um, growing their, uh, their business. All others are not a function or not a function of the pandemic. And we see that uh, they serve very, very different, um, uh, very, very different uh, challenges. Uh, second, uh, I highlighted in uh, gray uh, patient-centric solutions, uh, six out of 10, uh, attracted more than 40% of total funding from the beginning of the year. And uh, this also indicates that Israel is part of growing global trend of uh, patient centricity. Uh, and uh, my third point here is, uh, so I don't see it uh, here in this in first four months, um, 2021 numbers yet, clinical workflow uh, is uh, to become uh, another area of strength. Uh, we already see some, uh, some uh, deals happening um, here, which are not included in, um, uh, in this selection. Uh, but uh, clin uh, clinical workflow includes uh, all kinds of solutions for data protection, data privacy, data sharing, data security. And this is a huge, huge uh, theme right now after uh, incredible growth of um, amounts of medical data. In the US, the amount of medical data doubles itself every couple of months. Uh, and uh, so do uh, data breaches. Uh, so all these um, solutions uh, um, addressing this challenge are uh, very hot, uh, becoming very hot uh, area right now. And the Israel is traditionally strong in this um, kind of solution. So we uh, expect more investments into this segment um, as well going forward. Uh, you can find more insights in our recently published research. Uh, you have the links uh, here. Uh, one research is in-depth analysis of what happened in Israeli digital health in 2020, in the time of the pandemic. Uh, and um, uh, the uh, next one is a short update of uh, what, what's happening this year uh, post-pandemic. Um, I'm happy to receive your comments and uh, questions and to be in touch. Thank you for your time and have a good rest of the day. Thank you.